Hello, Metropolitan, and welcome to today's Metropolitan Devotional. I'm Reverend David Jefferson, Jr., and today's devotional is taken out of Isaiah, the seventh chapter, the first and the second verse, where it reads, Now the house of David was told, Aram has allied himself with Ephraim. So the hearts of Ahaz and his people were shaken, as the trees of the forest are shaken by the wind. Today I want to talk about a confident faith. Now the house of David was told Aram had allied itself with Ephraim, so the hearts of Ahaz and his people were shaken as the trees of the forest are shaken by the wind. In his mercy, God told the prophet Isaiah to help Ahaz to gain some perspective by taking a long-term view of the forces aligning themselves against him and his people. The prophet pointed out trends that would mean the demise of Ahaz's enemies within 65 years. Instead of anxious desperation, Ahaz was invited to exercise a quiet and long-term confident faith in the Lord. Have you ever had to exercise a confident faith? Whether you react to troubling news with a sense of desperation or a quiet, confident faith will largely depend on the status of your relationship with God. For example, in the text on today, King Ahaz of Judah had turned away completely from the Lord, not only practicing idolatry, but even sacrificing his own children as burnt offerings to pagan gods. When he heard that Syria and Israel had formed an alliance and were preparing to attack, he had no faith to fall back on. Instead, he became so frightened that his heart began shaking like a tree in the wind. Well, just like Ahaz, in a similar way, believers today are called to take a different view of time and, and look at history in a different light. The Bible helps us gain perspective by taking a long-term view of history's outcomes, yet not just the short-lived gains or losses from year to year. As God's people, we are part of a process spanning generations in which we are building on the legacy of our predecessors, our ancestors, and contributing to the future of our successors. When we look at things from that perspective, it's safe to say, that no matter what we're dealing with or facing on today, today's terrors can become tomorrow's joys. And so I would just ask that if you haven't already done so, implement a confident faith no matter how long it takes and listen to God because God is speaking to you today and every day. Thank you. And I pray that you have a blessed day. So long.